Um, and so I'm not sure. They've also got a safety penalty that, um, let's say they require, it doesn't really apply here, but let, let's say you do construction work and you work with um, big band saws. And let's say they require you to wear eye gear when you do that. Let's say you don't wear that and throw something up and, and blinds you. Um, if you're not wearing required safety equipment, the benefits are reduced 25 to 50%. It's, it's judge's discretion how much those are reduced. Um, I don't know how much more things that they could put in the work comp system to prevent fraud and therefore lower rates. But that's something I've worked on, for, or at least contemplated for a while. I've actually practiced workers' compensation in the past, um, and I just don't know what what those what those specific areas are because I, I completely agree. Workers' compensation is, is almost prohibitively expensive for small business, and in fact, it's so bad that um, quite a few years ago, there's a quasi-public-private group called Missouri Employers Mutual that started offering insurance um, primarily to smaller um, businesses that could not afford completely private insurance. So Missouri Employers Mutual, set up by the state, but now operates again quasi-public-private um, specifically for individuals like that. We'll have one more question for our guest speaker. One more question. I'm going to go you because you haven't asked a question yet. So the topic in my family has been intimate domain. Yeah. Marshall is trying to put another exit in, which is only about a mile to a mile and a half from my property. Yes. What is your views on it? Okay. So first of all, um, when we first moved to Missouri, um, we lived in Republic, and then we moved out between Marshfield and Lebanon. You know where 91 Conway are? Yeah. So in between 91 Conway, there's a little tiny place called Raider. It doesn't have a population site. I live like a mile from Raider. Uh, but we always just go to Marshfield for everything, so very familiar with, with that area. Um, so, eminent domain is one of those super, super controversial things. I generally don't like the government taking people's land without their, their choice. Now, there's two types of eminent domain. There's a traditional type, which would be like this one. We're going to, we're, we have to put it in a road. There's no other places to put it. We're going to put it here. We're just going to force you to sell it to your land at, at market prices. There's a second, more controversial version. It came about after a, a, a Supreme Court case called the Kelo decision that said essentially, if, if, if the government believes that they can seize your land and generate more tax money off that land, then they can use eminent domain to seize it. And what happened was there was some, some rundown buildings in this town in Kelo, Connecticut, I think it was, and the government wanted to buy them because they wanted to put in new buildings, and the people said no, so they seized them by eminent domain, allow these developers to come and put new buildings, and they generate more tax money. Supreme Court said they could do that. Then a bunch of states, Missouri was one of them, basically said, no, we're only going to allow the original version of eminent domain to, to exist. I don't like eminent domain because I am a huge, huge, huge believer for personal property rights. But at the same time, eminent domain is almost an essential part of government because if you always have to get everyone's permission to build a road, you're, you're just never going to, you're going to end up having highways that go like this all the time. It's, you're just going to always have, and so that's a tough, that, again, the second part of eminent domain, seizing something sim simply to generate more tax revenue that I don't agree with, the first kind, almost by nature of the, the society we live in, has to exist, and I don't know a better way to do it than the way that we do it right now. Right now, I agree. <laughs> okay, one more time, thank you so much.